What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Jam Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Shows. Brian, I usually, when I see, you know, the hype, and you know the hype, when the hype comes, you it's like you're sitting there watching to see if that hype is real. And it's always sort of refreshing it to sort of agree with many other, with others about how they feel about a certain thing that they've seen, certain food that they've eaten, whatever. That ex- is that experience. Uh, that first episode, love the way they set things up, Brian. There were so many moving parts, but they set it up so beautifully. And I was very surprised to see uh, the the mayor of Gotham. Mr. Carbonell. <laughs> fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Your thoughts so far, Brian, on Sheldon? Oh, we're leading with Nestor Carbonell. He's, he's he's one of many uh, kind of character actors doing 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 some things in the show. Show is great. Um, you know, we look. This is technically under the Disney umbrella too, right? It's a Hulu and FX, so we we got to give we got to give everybody props. involved yeah. some props for for this. But Justin Marks and Marie Kondo are the uh, hus- I believe they're the husband of Rachel Kondo. Sorry. Uh, the husband and wife team behind behind this show and this show is one of those that's apparently been in the works for almost a decade and they have had a lot of problems getting this made and we know a lot of times that doesn't work out very well so i'm thrilled that what we're getting is this because i feel like every network these days is looking for their game of thrones um Mm -hmm. and fx and hulu have it i mean they they, that's what they wanted they've got it because this show is Fantastic, um, top to bottom. And I wanted to comment on a couple of things. Number one, congrats to everyone involved for just having everything in Japanese. This show would not be as good if it was in English all the way through. It is better that it is Japanese and subtitled the majority of the time and then English when necessary. Yeah. That's a choice. And, and it's it, Portuguese. It, it, and, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that really works. Really, really works. And I think it's a bold choice. Um, the second is, unlike the old, mini, the old TV miniseries, the decision to kind of power down Blackthorn, the Englishman, Played by Cosmo Jarvis and make him less noble, and he's more kind of an almost like a he, he's almost kind of like a nervous wreck. He's he's hyper. He's you know he he is heroic at times, but then he doesn't really come across as a hero. Versus how Richard Chamberlain played the character in he's the shady. 80, 80 minutes. Yeah, that is a great decision because it really then puts your focus where it should be, which is mm-hmm. on Toranaga, on Mariko, on the Japanese characters. That's, it elevates their characters by making the Caucasian character kind of, he's more like the audience avatar. He's not really like yes. parrying. And this is where like, I am a fan of The Last Samurai. Yes. But that's the difference between The Last Samurai and this. Tom Cruise is being Tom Cruise in The Last Samurai from mm-hmm. the minute he arrives in that camp, even though he's a drunk union mm-hmm. deserter. Mm-hmm. This guy is not. He's yeah, 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 yeah. a rat. He's dirty. He's, he doesn't know what's going on. He's panicked. He's angry. So your your attention is more riveted and you feel like the screen is commanded by Toronaga in particular and and his daughter. And that that actually, I think, is the other thing I love about it. And the third about the thing I love about this is I love the sets. Yes. Yeah, I know there's some CGI and stuff for the for the for the wide screen wide panoramic shots, but the houses, the buildings, everything looks so detailed and so great. The costumes, the decor, everything, everything is so yeah. tight. Is is that escape to believe that where you're at, where you're being taken to, that's where you're at? Some of the things that happen there, they're like, wow, <laughs> you know, it's crazy. Some of the stuff. <laughs> Well, they, they, I think they, they really hold back the action pretty wisely. Yes. Like when they've yes. deployed it, like the assassin scene, it's 
intense and like kind of unexpected and really well shot, but they kind of hold it back. They're like restraining themselves. This move, this show could easily be like battle this and sword play that, and they 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 save it. And I have a feeling like you know, if they're if they're true to the book, which it sounds like they are, there'll be some bigger set pieces coming, you know, later in the season, but. I like the fact that the action has been there for a purpose, right? Every time we've seen swords drawn or people die, it's usually for a specific reason or something that moves our story forward, not just as an excuse for a couple people to, you know, flash some swords. Any disrespect? Oh, the that's the the way the first death occurs in this is fantastic. That guy, yeah. the way that he's killed from off screen, like spoiler alert, he's killed from off screen <laughs> by a sword and loses his head, and it's. It is jarring when you see it. Um, why did it take so long for this to be made? Lack of belief, I think. I mean, to be quite honest, I think it's lack of belief. It's expensive, right? It's an expensive production, no question, right? To have it look like this and do it on location and um, have this many people involved. Um, I would guess there probably was some discussion around the language and kind of saying like, are people really, are we really going to have a mega hit where the majority of the lines are subtitled? Um, but I, you know, I feel really good for Hiroyuki Sonata who plays Toronaga because I feel like this guy for 20 years has been the go-to supporting small role Asian actor in mainstream Hollywood. Like nah. you've seen him. He's mm. in Last Samurai. He's in Avengers Endgame. He's in Mortal Kombat. He's shout in out, shout out to Diego. He said he's the Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> yeah, except he will run. <laughs> oh, snap. But he but it's I so I feel good because he's getting to be the lead. Yes. And he's killing it in this part. So you're gonna walk out of this show. Yeah, you're gonna walk out of this show and be like, he's a star. Yes. He's not a he's not he's not a supporting character. He's yes, a star. Yeah. He is um, the guy. Yeah. And I think his his daughter, Anna Sawai, is also going to be on the rise. I just saw her in Monarch. I thought she was quite good in Monarch Legacy of Monsters, and now she's the female. The new Lucy Lou. <laughs> <laughs> just don't do what was the one with Banderas X versus Sever don't do that movie don't do anything oh. like that movie that was atrocious that like ended Lucy Liu's uh, action career, career. Yeah. yeah but you know what I would say you have to sort of give a nod to Netflix for their successes in move in shows that are subtitled like uh um, house of cards not house of cards um the spanish one. Oh, money heist yes yeah yes 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 Ca la casa de papel i think they called it yes that probably propelled those guys to take a chance on this yeah i also like that and the game of thrones yeah and, 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 you know. but i think unlike you know game of thrones obviously is a saga this is this is a single book now James Clavell wrote six novels that were loosely connected. This is chronologically the first, but you know, Justin Marks is on record as saying, look, there's, there's no season two. Like this is an adaptation of the book. The book has an ending. The show has an ending. Like this is it. It's wrap. So yeah, like okay. if they're going to make, so granted it's a mega hit already. They clearly are going to option and try to make some of the other books, but that's going to be a completely independent production. The people involved with this are not necessarily going to be involved with that. Like they are here for one show, and I like that because yeah, it's yeah. all here. Like they're you know they're clearly yeah, letting I'd, it hang I'd out. I'd rather it be that. Yes. Yeah. I'd rather it be that than it be they they try to do some other stuff and ruin that experience of what it is. You brought up Carbonell. I mean, I. I, I love when you see some something like because he, he's never played a character like this. But you again, this is a guy you've seen, right? We talk about him as like the mayor of Gotham from Chris Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy. Um, and Nolan clearly thought something of him because he had real he had a real part and he was spoiler alert blown to kingdom <laughs> come in the third movie. Yeah. But 
to see him with like the heavy Portuguese accent and the beard and like you know morally like, oh, ambiguous. Snap. Yeah, like you will know him as Ace, but you'll be like he sounds unrecognizable. I've never heard him kind of do this sort of stuff. I think that's great. I think it's great use of, of character acting. And you see that you'll also recognize um I'm gonna butcher his name, Tato Soba Asano, who played Hogan in the Thor movies, one of the Warriors Three. He is Yabashigi in this series as well. So and oh, okay. he's he's having fun too as sort of this like ruffian warlord if you will within the within sort of the broader family so so yeah it's it's nice to see people like familiar faces doing new things yeah, and you know yeah, yeah. yeah showing new talents have you seen on netflix age of samurai no i've not seen that check that out because it reminds me somewhat of that era and the lead actor for this Shogun show sort of reminds me of one of the individuals in that time but it's a very interesting watch watch it because a lot of the stuff that happens there that's how they rolled I, like I said, I have not read the Clavel novel. The one thing I'm interested in is they said that there are three episodes in, there's 10 episodes in the season, but they are much more, they're much further along than a third of the way through the book. So it implies that they are really going to slow down and focus more on some things that happen toward toward the end. And I, I do, I have, I do remember weirdly, and I saw in my childhood, the original miniseries, there's one scene in particular that... I'm assuming will be in this show that I'm very curious to see how they film it and do it because it is quite, quite I feel like, I feel like it's quite dramatic and kind of a twist when it occurs so interesting that'll be yeah I'm kind of curious to see how they play it but I it's weird it's one of those things where like I saw this series as a kid which I probably should not have I don't really know why my dad <laughs> let me watch this <laughs> but as a result there's like one that one there's that one there's two scenes from the show that are seared into my brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one of which is him getting urinated on, uh -huh. which has already happened. Yeah. And that was in this show too. And the other one is, is the one that comes later. So. Uh -huh. um, let us know in the comments section below if you've seen the show and if you haven't, do yourselves a favor. Just like you're, you've been told to go see Dune 2 at the IMAX or at theaters, do yourselves a favor. Watch this. Um, watch this show because it is because it, it it's it's top shelf. It is in the shelf where right next to uh, Andor. I, I joke with Pablo. We're gonna be we're gonna have to be starting. A, did they care? Or did they not care? Segment. So, Dune, Shogun, they cared. Yeah. Trust me, people. They cared about what yeah. they show, what they put on screen for you, and it showed. Yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you, I'll, I'll fill you in, Brian. I'm one of the guys uh, that I work with when I'm doing uh, filming. He told me that he knew he he knows one of the guys that was a camera operator on Madam Web. And he said they knew from day one. This is my question. This is my question. That this was going to be a disaster. So they didn't care. Let us know in the conversation below. What did you guys think? We'll see you next time on Ninja Report. The show goes on! Yeah!